friends. Fiance's. And I hear folks now saying, well, I'm not married. I don't have to do it. But if you ain't going to do it now, what you think you're going to do when you get married? You got to practice it now. Practice it now. If you become the person you need to be to your husband now, it ain't going to be no problem when you do get married. I ain't telling y'all y'all have to do everything. There's a lot of things that, that our husbands and our wives and wives tell us that say things that we don't like and, and all this kind of stuff. But I'm just telling you to respect that. And respect each other right with opinion. Because we all have an opinion. It doesn't mean yours right. It don't mean mine's right. It just means that we have an opinion about something. It's just like that. And we need to be more roots in here. Amen. We need to be loyal. To one another, to, 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 to God and to our husbands and wives. We need to be humble, Amen. respectful, yeah. godly. We need to be faithful. Yeah. Some of us are not faithful, and I'm not always talking about going out there messing around because you can be faithful more than one way. Some of us need to be obedient. We're not obedient to God, and when we're not obedient to God, we ain't getting nowhere. Well, because that thing that you expect for God to give to you, you won't be getting it. it. The enemy can give you anything, the devil can give you anything. That's, That's the next thing you have to do, is it? Because he can give you anything. He can make it shine for a little while, but after a while, that thing will get done. Yeah. But anything that God gives you is going to shine forever. That light, you need to be a big light to one another. Even to yourself. You got to learn how to encourage yourself. Because when nobody else out there will encourage you, you got to encourage yourself. You got to pat your own self on the back sometimes. So Gina, you did a great job. And I'm going to tell you, because I used to be, you know, I used to be up nervous and I really am. I always nervous. I'm telling you, I'm saying, Every time I get a death, I feel like I'm so nervous. I can't do this. But God said, I'm your confident. You get confident in me. You got to have it yourself, but I want you to have confidence in me. Amen. I used to want to preach like everybody else. And, um, and God said this. And, uh, Trying to be people pleaser. That's how we get in so much trouble. Being people pleasers. 
want to do, trying to do everything else somebody tell you to do, and you ain't even took care of your business. Well, but you all take care of everybody else's business. Take care of your home and take care of your business first. Then, then, if you have some time, take care of the other people. But I told somebody the other day, I said, yeah, my husband, he comes first. But I said, you know, God comes first. Then my husband. And see, when God sent me out, I, I, I know that he don't want me to leave him. And I know that he's, he's um, um, weak and he's tired. But what, what am I going to do? Am I going to sit home and be weak and tired too? And I told him that and I said, I, I can't sit here and just watch you be weak and tired. I know that you're weak and tired. I know what you're going through. I do have sympathy for him. I do. I feel, I feel bad for him. And you know, and I know a lot of people look at me and say, she's out here and her husband at home sick. But I mean, I got news for you. He might be sick, but God don't want me to be sick too. Amen. I can't take care of him if I'm sick too. I still got to come out here and give what that says the Lord. I still got to go when he don't go. He still got to go when I don't go. We got to, we got to continue to go. I don't really care about, I, I was worried about that one time. I was really worried about that. People said, well, hold on. She's like, where's her husband? Where's her husband? She don't left her husband at home. You don't know what I, you don't know what I did before I left home. I prayed for my husband before I left home. And he told me, go out there. He said, do your thing. He said, do what God told you to do. Because for him to be a hindrance to me, that's a bad thing. Same thing for me. If I be a hindrance to you, that's a bad thing. God don't like that. So I thank God. I feel bad that he told me. He said, do your thing. He said, go out there. He said, go out there and do your thing. Do what God, do what God says the Lord. If God told you to do it, he said, do it. That's, that's what I'm here to do. And I'm almost done, y'all. I'm going to close out in a few minutes. So, so be. Sometimes, the Bible, well, the Bible can tell us someone like that, like Ruth, the Bible tells us that she's worth more than rubies. That's what um, Proverbs, that's Proverbs. If we be who God calls out to be as spiritual devils, we can be worth far more than rubies also. And that's how we can be, I mean, rubies, y'all know what rubies look like. They are, oh, they're, they're beautiful, thank you. They are, they are shining, they are, they're beautiful. Gold, shining. We can be just like that on the inside and outside. But we need to become that spiritual demon. Amen, we need to become who God wants, who God wants to be. Not all the time who who other people call us out to be because there's a lot of people out there that are calling you out to be something that God didn't call you out to be. Girl, I remember I used to sing, and okay, now I grant you I'm here now, but I used to sing, go out and sing everybody, and the first thing, some people came after I finished singing, came and told me, girl, you um, you need to put that mic down and stop singing, you need to be preaching. That's what they told me. See, people can get a big head like that sometimes. I didn't pay it on my eyes. I just prayed to God and I said, God, wherever you want me, that's where I'll be. You know, there is no reason why I can't sing and minister. She told me to drop the mic and don't sing. And just, I thought she was just telling me I sound bad or something. I thought she was saying, Greg, you need to just stop singing because you sound terrible. You need to put that mic down. You ain't got it like that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it wasn't that. It was that she was telling me. That I'll go be a preacher. Okay, in God's time, not in yours. When God called me, I, I don't like, I don't even like the pulpit as it is. Like, as it is. I, I prefer to be down there. You know, folks staring in your face, you know, they, they're thinking all kinds of things. Heaven is here sleeping. I'm sleeping too, don't get me wrong. But I'm not here to give you this word, amen. You can sleep through it and you can dream about it tonight, amen. You, know, now, you got to get the word. Because if we can go home and after being sleepy here and go and sit in front of the TV and watch TV all night long. And we do do that. I've done it. I've been so sleepy when Bishop and them got up there to preach and I was like, so tired right there. Girl, I got home. Turn the TV on, though, and I'm like, come here, girl. <laughs> really, I was into that TV thing, man. But when Pastor Bishop preaching, you, you can't say, you better preach that thing, you better go ahead. Heaven's, oh my God, 
I'm not going to finish it. Yeah, I'm glad I'm finished too, because I'm not burning myself, okay? But I thank God for the word one tonight. Amen. 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 I'm going to leave this with you, and I'm going to leave it alone. Amen. Trust in the Lord always. Trust in the Lord always. Trust in the Lord always. Trust with all your heart and all your mind. Lean not to your own understanding. Amen. But in all your ways, acknowledge me. And he will direct your past deeds. Spiritually, God will direct your path. Yes. If you just open up to him, he will direct your path. Yes. All right, so who am I speaking? Do I still have spiritual people to me? Yes. Amen. Amen. So we don't stop. I know they don't stop. They started tonight. I know, that's right. So I know y'all got whole week. Y'all got y'all done the whole week? Yes. Oh, Jesus. By the time y'all get to the end of, of get, get to Friday, oh my God, y'all really gonna be some spiritual demons. Y'all gonna be waiting that God is growing with everything else. Amen. Because I know y'all got some awesome speakers coming. Amen. And I'm looking for, amen. I'm looking for, you know what? If I can shoot back on here one night, I will. To see these, these other people preaching and just praise the Lord, amen. Amen. And just, just know, just know that whatever it is that you're going through, that you still gotta be a ruth, you still gotta be respectful. You still gotta be loyal. You still gotta be, you gotta stand up and be that spirit Jesus that God called you out to be. Amen. That God called you out to be. And that what God called me out to be may not be necessary what God called me out to be, that He called you out to be, but be who God called you out to be. And be that, that spiritual people that God called you out to be. God bless you. I love you. Amen.